2020 maple season and uh, thought we'd come out and have a look at the uh, the lines but we looks like we noticed that we got we might have a, a squirrel chew in one of them we have one line that's that's flowing really fast almost looks like it's almost looks like it's Russian if you look at these ones here these ones are all kind of flowing smoothly but this this you put it on the top here so that top one you can get big spurts of looks like air so it's one of the ways you find out for leaks in these 3 16 tubing systems because they uh, they really depend on the system being fully sealed no air leaks any air leak especially with a sure flow pump if you have one small air leak, you're going to lose a lot of your vacuum in all of the lines. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take this line and we're going to follow it back up to the bush and we're going to see where where the leak is. We came prepared. We got some uh, extra drops. We got our two-handed tubing tool, 316. In my case, I got a ladder. Some of our taps are a bit high up in order to maintain our slope. So we're going to cruise up into the bush and see if we can find it. So here we come to a kind of a junction where one splits off. We're down to three tubes here. And we're just trying to locate which tube is the one that's causing the problem. So we, you can see here this tube is still flowing nice. Um, you see this tube is still flowing good. We see this tube here is is going really fast and there's hardly any liquid in it, just a lot of air movement. So we'll follow we'll keep following that one on up the bush, see if we can find the find the leak. Another way you can tell that it's not uh, one of your drop lines is if you, sometimes if you have a leak in your drop you'll see that you'll have slow movement on this side and then right here it'll be really fast because it's drawing air in from the drop but here we can see the speed on of the sap on both sides of this tap is the same so we know that this one here is probably good and the leak is probably further up the line all right so we we found the culprit so here's our the tree that we have the issue on and i'll show you what i mean by air getting into the line so if you can see so it's actually not an issue with the actual drop but we're going to change it anyways because we're going to replace let's see if we can focus here focus all right we go so we're going to replace this guy we're going to cut here and then we're going to replace this section right here so i don't know if you can see it try and focus a bit better here so we have ourselves a squirrel chew. Tooth mark, tooth mark, a couple of tooth marks here. So we're gonna try and we're gonna go see, make sure there's nothing on the back side of the tree here. That looks good. So we're gonna we're gonna replace from here over to this side here. We'll cut this out. We'll put a new drop in, and uh, we'll be good to go. So let me get that set up. I'm gonna change that. All right. So what I got is I got my tubing tool on. I got it cut on. I got it put on one side of the tap here and here. So we're past the cut line here. So what I'm going to do? So this tubing tool will actually hold this line in place. Uh, this tubing is is got a little bit of give to it, so I'm able to pull out uh, a little bit of extra slack. Uh, it actually helps tighten up the lines at the same time. And uh, so yeah, we'll cut this out. We're going to take our cutters. We're going to cut here. We're going to cut here. We're going to put a new tap in and put it back into the same tap hole. Alright, I'll be right back. There, so we got our new, our new drop line in place. Uh, we replaced all the chew marks on this tree. You can see here, I haven't, I haven't put the tap in the tree yet. Um, 
but you can see that here you can have all the section of chewed line out and I didn't have to replace the whole line all I got to do is replace that one drop that's it don't tap these things in too hard you can hear you kind of hear the tone of the of your hammer pitch changing when you tap those in that's all you want to do you don't want to split the tree the top or bottom you get air leaks like I say these these systems are dependent on on, on on fully sealed in order to maintain your your vacuum so you can take a look now on our line we have this this part of the line is still full of sap coming from the trees on that side and you can see now we've got uh, a little bit of air coming in here but that's just the air coming out of the the line that's in here is putting a bubble in very rhythmic <laughs> but you can tell it's a lot slower meaning that it's, it's not leaking anymore and we our system is back to fully operational if you have any questions put them in the comments I'll try and help out as much as I can I've been doing this for about uh, six years now so I still have a lot to learn, uh, but I enjoy it, and I hope you do too. Have a good day. All right, so back down at the pump. Thought I'd just show a quick uh, update on that line we did. So it still is coming in a bit fast, but it's, it's right now it's actually just emptying all the air out of the line. Definitely is a lot slower, not rushing with with air. So we will. Uh, I think we're good to go. We'll check it again next time we're out to make sure that it's uh, running like the other ones. But uh, I have a feeling we got it. Once again, thanks for watching.